got any heat on that. Let me tell you what happened. When Jesus was raised from the dead, he was in spirit form. He was no longer in carnality and flesh. He was in spirit form, and in more times than one did he show himself. He did not get caught up and go to heaven. He walked water still. They was having a meeting. This is my proof. They were having a meeting and Jesus walked through the door. Because he was not in normal flesh. And Thomas said, I ain't going to believe. Unless I put my finger in the print of a nail. Will I believe? So Jesus said, I'm going to show him. That I'm still alive. Now this was needed. Ooh, this is so powerful. I don't even know how I got here. But if y'all let me, I'm going to work it. It was so needed. Because. The reason why. Because somebody could have stole the body. He was famous. He was worth so much. So somebody could have took his body. But he had to prove to his disciples resurrection power. Ooh. Hallelujah, Lord, I thank you. He had to let him touch him. Touch me. So you can see that I've been through it. And I came out of it. So I know. Some of the reasons some of you only got to still got your friends is so they can see what God will do for yes. you. How he'll bring you in and he'll bring you out. And God only allows certain people to be around so they can testify. So they can testify what God has done for you. Some of you got to go down. Some of you got the lights and you got to go off. Some of you got to go on the operating table. Some of you got to get sick. Some of you got to be broke. Some of you have to go through. Some of you have to cry. Some of you have to be disappointed. Some of you have to be hurt, confused, busted, messed up, confused. Because when God brings you out, he needs somebody to tell the people what I can do. Jesus had to show himself. Because I got to give you evidence. Got to let you know when they put you in the grave, you ain't going to stay there. And they can't lie and tell you somebody stole me. Come on. Here I am. I'm walking on water. Now, it is, he has said he's been seen so many times and this time he is seen by the disciples and he lets them know watch this he said this let's read verse 1 the former treaties have I made, O Theolophysis, of all that Jesus began to do, both to do and to teach, until the day in which he was taken up, after that, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Now, here is Luke. Luke is Luke is a message boy. 
who has a boss. And he writes this letter and he's telling his boss, Bill Offices, what he has seen through and by Jesus. So what we're going to read is through and by Luke. All right, watch this. Until the day which he was taken up. Now we're going to talk about the day he was taken up here. After that, he through the Holy Ghost had given the commandments unto the apostles. Okay. To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by infallible proofs. Do you see it? Do you see it? To whom also he showed himself. Alive after his passion by many infallible proofs. Mm -hmm. Watch this. So as God, what they thought that God was dead and gone. Amen. God came back and showed himself according to his passion for the people. It was a passion. I'm trying to stay with my question and answer, but don't seem like I'm going to stay there, but listen to me. It was a passion of God uh -huh. to come back and help Thomas. Mm. Are y'all ready for this? Mm -hmm. God cared so much about Thomas that he wouldn't leave him doubtful. Yeah. Did y'all hear me? Are you understanding that? Because if God never came back and dealt with Thomas, Thomas would have been lost because he said, I'm not going to believe unless God himself show me. So therefore, the passion of God as he was about to step in glory, he heard Thomas passion. He heard Thomas passion and said, I can't leave him without proving to him yeah. what I am. Some of you, God is latched to you. Not going to let you go until he proves to you Exactly what you need. Yes. Amen. By after his passion, by many infallible proofs being seen of them for the days, speaking of them, of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God and being assembled together with them, command with them and commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the cross. Of the Father, which he had heard of me. For John truly baptized with water. This was John's baptism. John baptized with what? Water. But ye shall be baptized with what? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Not many days hence. When they were there come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore the kingdom of Israel to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the time nor the season which, which the Father hath put in his own power, but ye shall receive what? Power. After that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Ye shall be a witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and, and in Samaria and unto all the uttermost parts of the world. He did the answer to that question. What do you do when you've done everything you can? You ready? Wait for the promise 
of the Father. I know this is a, I know this is a hard thing because nobody likes to wait. Another word for wait is ten. It's important in this time and season that if you don't have patience, that you find it. 